too. I look white. I don't like it. What? I knew my rent was gonna be later, but I Hey guys, it's Avery and Brianna, and today we're going to be making a video about 10 things we hate about high school. 10. 10 whole things. Not 9. Not 8. But 10. 10. So one new thing we're going to be starting on our channel is when we film videos, we're going to start telling you guys what we're wearing and where we got our outfits. It's going to be like outfit of the days mixed in with our videos if we're wearing something cute when we film because we filmed our um, after, after school, school routine. We I was in sweatpants and a t-shirt. And we were really tired. That's why we were like, hey guys. We'll show ya. We'll show you what we're wearing today. We'll show ya. Okay? Okay. Okay. So, let's get into it. Yeah. Snacks all the Okay, number one is people who ask stupid questions. So like when the teacher will explain a whole entire lesson or what you're supposed to do for like a worksheet and then someone will come in and be like, So it goes like this? So you do this? And it's like, yes, she just That's, said it 40 times. She just explained it many times. And you still don't get it. You're wasting everyone's time. Number two is when teachers aren't understanding. I have a teacher, I've had many teachers, that will literally sit there and complain about how they don't have time to do this because they're the coach of this and they have four kids and they do this and they do this. And I'm like, okay, I get that. That's cool. People are busy, life's hard. But then, I didn't get to do an assignment one day because I am on a sport and i involved in my church and stuff like that. And you expect them to be understanding, and they're not. Why should we be understanding for you when you can't be understanding for us? Bugs me, bugs me. Bad teacher. Number three is when it's a new semester and you're going to your new classes and you're sitting in class and your friend walks in and goes, hey, you're in this class? No, I was just sitting here for fun. Irritates me. Number four is when people carry too many bags or they carry every single thing they've ever purchased and own in their bag. That their backpacks is wider than them as a person. Like it sticks out this far and they turn and they just about knock you everyone. out with their backpack. It's like or bowling. When they have like four bags for no reason. Number five is the packs like we're talking about those clicks that everyone's in like you don't think this is real it's real there's like the sporty ones the popular ones the geeks and it's not so much that there's clicks because people have your group of friends that's whatever it's that people move in literally giant packs like you can't get through the hallway because there's a clump of people blocking the one door you have to get through and you're like Seriously. Move, excuse if me. If you want to have your little tribe, can you move it over? Because I need can to. Can you get go to class. somewhere else? Because it's not. I know we only have each other. Number six, when teachers yell instead of talk. But instead of talking, they're saying this, and they want to teach you everything, and you're just like, you are giving me a headache. Please stop. You're giving me a headache. It's terrible. There's a difference between projecting it and just yelling. Number seven is sitting by grades. When we have like school assemblies, we all go into the gym and we have to sit by grade. Like all my friends aren't necessarily sophomores. I want to sit by Avery. No, but she's a junior. I can't. Yeah. It was really stressful at the beginning of the year when we both knew no one. And like we only knew each other, but we couldn't even sit by each other because it goes by grade. That may just be specific to our school or <clears throat> most, I don't know. A lot of high schools do that for football games, but our school does it for everything. We do it for football games, seminars. for assemblies, pep rallies, seminars, like whatever we have, it's usually by grade. Eight is not being allowed to wear hats. I don't even wear hats that much, but if but I we wanted have to, bad I feel like I should have the right to wear one. Are, are you seriously telling me that by going like this, you can no longer tell who like, I am. Like, can you not tell that she's Avery and I'm, I'm not? I'm no longer identifiable, and so therefore it's a safety act. Oh, it really covers my, my forehead, bad. and I'm so sorry that you I'm can't identify person. me by my forehead. I'm a different person, and you can't tell who <gasps> It's annoying. I, I own very school. cute hats. I can't even, I've bought a specific hat for school, and I can't even wear it. So number nine is teachers 
favorite. And all teachers have them. You can't hide them. You know. You know. It's obvious. Like, during one of my classes, we all had to turn in papers. And this guy got 50 out of 50, even though he's stupid and it was just bad paper and I just don't understand how he got 100 when I got crappy score. And I spent a lot of time working on that. Obviously, a teacher isn't going to like every single student they have. That's like obviously, they shouldn't that's show like, it. That's like us being expected to like every kid in your class. It's not going to happen, so you can't expect them to like everybody. But when they when they make it like really obvious, it's just like really. Are you really? serious? Do this do that? Really? really? You okay. Let her go to the bathroom after you said no to everybody. The last one, and it's number ten, is kind of it's not a thing at every school. I know that for a fact, but I know that it's at more schools than one. And I'll give you. The it's at a lot of schools. So on the floor we have a tile like crest, and it's a panther, which is our mascot. And so it's in the middle of the cafeteria, like. Whenever you're trying to get to any of the food lines or to throw your garbage out, it's right in the middle. And you're not allowed to walk on it. In the first two days of school, if you walk on it, the like, oh, table of seniors sit right by that, they'll boo you. Ooh. They will literally, if they see your foot step on that little mosaic of tile, you will get booed. Why would you put something that's so important or so special that on you don't want stepped on? On the floor. Floors are made for walking. Ugh, not know. something to look at. I don't get it. So these are just 10 things we hate about high school. And we hope you can relate because they're stupid. Stupid people are everywhere, so I mean, you can't avoid that. Watch out. Watch out for the stupid people. Yeet away from that. Yeet, yeet, oh, like that. We just gotta eat. I gotta do this on my own. Thank you guys for watching. Stay tuned for more videos. Bye.